How's it going, everyone? I'm your host, the Carolina Collector. First, I'm going to say thank you to each and every single one of you for supporting the channel and checking out my videos. If you like what you see and enjoy the content, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. We are on the cusp of breaking 400 subscribers, and with your help, we can accomplish that. Here's to the next 400 more, hopefully. Anyway, subscribe, comment, and smash that like button. It really helps the channel to grow immensely. Thank you, everyone. So I've been neglecting the jersey sector of my channel. I haven't really been reviewing jerseys lately. Everything has been about sports cards and other random stuff. So I wanted to show off a couple jerseys that just arrived this morning. We are looking at this year's German national team home and away kits for this year's Euro 2024 championship, which Germany are the hosts. And I got to say... Lately, even with Bayern Munich's jerseys, as you guys know, if you've watched the channel, I'm a big fan of Bayern Munich. These are jerseys done right. You know, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to your typical um, German black, red, and gold motif, and then the away jersey is the one that they always play games with. And I believe this is the first time they've ever used uh, purple and magenta in their jerseys. I mean, that thing looks insane. But... Let's look at the home jersey here first before we begin. So this is the replica version. This is not the authentic version. As you can see, it's got the DFB laser etched into the jersey, which is really cool. We have the DFB crest with the four stars representing their four World Cup victories. We have an Adidas new school trefoil right there. Number 13 representing Thomas Muller. There's the Euro patch. I actually got these from soccer.com. I'm not sponsored by them. They're not paying me or anything like that. But uh, they did come with this year's tournament patches, which is cool. You look on the reverse, it says Deutschland on the back, Muller, and the big number 13 on the back. And it harkens back to their 2006 jersey, which they hosted and lost, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, they got beaten by Italy, I believe. Uh, in that tournament. So, and Italy ended up going on to win. I believe they played France in the finals. So, um, here's the away trim. DFB logo with the four stars for their four World Cup victories. Number 13 again for Thomas Muller. We got the big new school trefoil on there. Again, we have the tournament patch for this year's Euro. And then our UEFA Foundation patch, which is a charity patch. And again, Muller, number 13 on the back. I really, really like this away jersey. I actually watched their most recent friendlies against Holland and France. I hope Germany are able to do something in this tournament because ever since they beat Argentina a few years ago in uh, World Cup final, they have not performed well. They've been knocked out of uh, several tournaments in the group stages, you know, even in the Euro uh Recently, or the last Euro, I should say, they performed very poorly. I don't know what's going on with the national team. Even with Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich have completely fallen apart. I mean, at least they still got the Champions League to play for against Arsenal. But um, they did make a statement against Holland and France. I mean, now that Julian Nagelsmann is the coach, I mean, they had Hansi Flick, which won everything with Bayern Munich. So it's hard to comprehend why they did so poorly with Hansi Flick. It makes no sense, I guess, just... You know, some coaches and some teams just get no place. And then when they're with other teams at the right place at the right time, they do amazing. And Hansi Flick in his first season won everything. And then, of course, Joachim Löw, who was Germany's, I believe, longest running coach, you know, lost his job because obviously they just suck. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Germany. I'm not trying to disparage them or anything, but it's got so bad. These might be the last jerseys you see that Germany wears with the Adidas trefoil on it. I was watching uh, DVTV, which is a German news channel, but the English version, and I saw that this is potentially their last year ever wearing anything from Adidas that now Nike are going to be their primary uniform uh, providers. Ugh. Can you imagine Germany wearing Nike stuff. Have you seen what the United States uniforms look like and what most Nike kits look like? They're gross and ugly. 
You know, and Adidas obviously is a German company. Adidas, short for Adi Dassler, who was the inventor of the original football boot, which was worn in the 50s when Germany um, became a world champion. And uh, I, I can't imagine there being a Nike swoosh on any Germany jersey. That just like, that's cringe level. Because Nike jerseys, as far as football or soccer are concerned, are by far, in my opinion, some of the most hideous jerseys I've ever seen. Look at the United States jerseys that they've come out with recently over the past few years. They're gross. So enjoy it while you can, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. But I tell you what, this, these, these, these two jerseys here, I got to say, are probably, in my opinion, some of the best Germany jerseys I've ever seen. Um, again, this one harkens back to 2006. It's very similar to it. But when I saw them on the field using this thing, I instantly fell in love with it. But this, this definitely screams German because, you know, typically most German jerseys are really flashy and snazzy anyway, like Bayern Munich's away jersey, which they tend to use quite a bit. They don't even use their, their um, off-white, I guess it's eggshell white or whatever it is. I have it. I've worn it once. They always wear the uh, black jersey with the uh, green and blue and yellow speckling in the jersey. It's a really, really nice jersey. I think I reviewed it here on the channel. I have a Harry Kane uh, away jersey, but I love when away jerseys kind of, you know, dial it up a notch, and this definitely is awesome. I've never seen a Germany jersey like this. It's usually a surprise when Germany deviates from their traditional colors. Uh, primarily black and green are their away trim. But I remember years ago before um, the 2006 World Cup, I actually think they used it after Euro 20, uh, uh, 2004, excuse me, where they wore uh, a red jersey going into the um, World Cup tournament. I could be mistaken. You guys can correct me on that. But um, I know they played Brazil wearing a red jersey, which they haven't worn in many, many years. It's rare that you ever see a Germany away jersey in red. But I think they played the... Um, what do you call that? The uh, it, It's a FIFA tournament. I always f forget what it's called. Forgive me, I'm brain farting here. As you guys know, I don't script my videos. But anyway, um, it's just a really funky, really cool jersey. I really like it, man. It's flashy and it stands out. But the Germany jersey, they got this one right. I did not like when they went back and rehashed the uh, 1996 jersey. I'm sorry, the 1990 jersey, forgive me, when they played against Argentina in the final, where Andy Bramer scored the one and only goal after uh, a foul was committed against him, where they brought back the old school triple line design that was on the chest. Yeah, that was from 1990. They brought that jersey back, but they made it black and gray, and I hated it. I didn't like it. I thought it was ugly. And uh, the most recent jersey that they had, I just, I didn't like it at all. But this one really stands out. This one is just amazing. I hated that black thing in the middle. You know, what they used in the uh, Euros a couple of years ago when they finally bit, beat Italy for once. But but this these jerseys, they get it right. I really like these, man. And that big, big, big Muller, Radio Muller on the back. I really like this. Now, as far as fit is concerned, uh, I'm an extra large. I used to be a 2XL, but I lost like 70 pounds something like that. So I fit well into extra large jerseys and these do fit true to size, which is good. Arguably, they may be a little bit bigger. I've noticed with Adidas stuff, if you if you guys are customers of mine on my Charlotte Patriot eBay, eBay account, I actually have a 2XL Adidas retro jersey for sale that I bought. I actually had to go back and buy XL versions of those jerseys from soccer.com because for some reason now, Adidas is starting to run a little bit bigger with their sizes, which tells me that, um, I guess fat acceptance is a thing now. So everything is running bigger, which I don't agree with. Sorry if people don't like my opinions, but you know, to upscale these jerseys, just to, you know, kind of make people feel good to me. I, I, I don't like that due to hard work. Like I did lose weight. <laughs> Sorry, man. That's just how I feel, but they did make these slightly bigger than, than usual. So but they fit me really well, despite all of that stuff. They fit really well. Uh, they'll be nice to uh, have an undershirt with, like if you have an Under Armour or you have Adidas climate warm gear like the, with the mock turtlenecks and stuff. These will do you quite well. Otherwise, as is, 
being that it's a summertime tournament, these should be fine as is. Again, I'm not sponsored by Soccer.com. That's where I got these from. They came complete with the uh, patches on them, which is cool. And these are the authentic patches that would be used during that tournament. They're not repros or rubber or anything like that, which is cool. So, um, and I love Soccer.com because if you get their uh, membership, every single jersey you get, you get discounts on and shipping discounts automatically. And you start adding up points, which you can use later to get, you know, free swag and stuff like that, or e even potentially a free jersey. So, again, not sponsored by them, but that's primarily where I get my stuff from. So, anyway, there you have it. Germany's home and away jersey for this year's Euro 2024 tournament, which they are the hosts. Thank you very much, everyone, for checking out my content and watching my videos, including this one. Like, comment, and, of course, subscribe. Like I said, we're almost at 400 subs, and that's because of all of you fine folks out there. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. I'm your host, the Carolina Collector, and I'll see you soon.